how do you water your vegetable garden? Well, if you're not using drip irrigation, you're likely wasting water and contributing to many pests, disease, and weed issues that you could be avoiding simply by using drip irrigation. Today I want to show you our drip irrigation kit here at Hulse Tools. When you order our drip irrigation kit, you'll receive a box that looks just like this and it contains everything you need to set up a drip irrigation system in your own vegetable garden. Now let's take a look at what's inside this box. So when you open your box, the first thing you'll notice is that you have a nice complete detailed set of instructions with color photos, big type, and descriptions for every single piece and how to install every single piece okay you'll also find your filter regulator combo all the drip tape fittings you'll need enough for 20 rows your main line tubing or your supply line and then the actual roll of drip tape now let's go through each of these pieces individually, talk about what their purpose is and how you install them for your system. So the first item we want to talk about in the box is our filter regulator combo. Now we at Hoss Tools, we go ahead and assemble all this for you. We put the Teflon tape around it to secure all the fittings and put this whole system together so all you have to do is connect your water hose and your main line tubing to this end. So you have your brass swivel right here and you basically just connect that to any three quarter inch water hose, okay? Downstream from that connection, we have our filter here, okay? If we open that up, we can see the actual filter cartridge inside here, okay? You can remove that, wash it out. This is gonna catch all those hard minerals and stuff that you don't want getting in your drip irrigation system and clogging any of your lines. Okay, downstream from the filter, we have our 12 PSI pressure regulator. That's gonna decrease the pressure enough so that the water can flow through those drip irrigation lines, but, but not so high pressure that it actually blows out the lines, okay? And then below that pressure regulator, we have just a little adapter here that adapts that three quarter inch pipe down to the five eighths inch mainline tubing that will be supplying your drip irrigation system. Okay, so we have our water hose hooked up to our filter regulator combo. Now we need to hook our main line tubing to, to this end of the setup, okay? Now if you want your water hose, if your water hose sits good at the end of your garden or the edge of it, you can just run this main line tubing right along the perimeter of your garden. But for some people, it, depending on the length of their water hose or where their spigot is positioned, it may work better for the water hose to sit kind of in the middle of the garden. And that's why we include this T, okay? So you basically put this T, cut your little piece of main line tubing, and then slide this T onto it here. Okay, and then you can run main line off this way and off this way. This works good if you want to set up your garden where you can water one section at a time. Um, you can put a valve in between there and so forth. So if you want it in the middle of your garden, use the T. If you don't, just run the main line straight along the edge of your garden. At the end of your main lines, on both ends of your garden, if you're using the T, on just one end if you're, you're coming straight off that filter regulator combo, you're going to want to crimp this main line so the water doesn't keep flowing out the end of this hose. The way you do that is with these easy figure eight clamps that we include in the kit. We have two of these so you can clamp both ends of your main line tubing. How you do this is really easy. You slide the figure eight end clamp on one end of the hose. You just fold it to crimp it, slide the other hole on there, and there you go. That's gonna keep any water from moving past that crimp. So we have a piece of mainline tubing here, cut for example. We wanna show you how you start putting in your drip irrigation lines connected to this supply line or main line. You'll notice our main line has this blue line across it here, and that's an indicator to show you where to put your holes along this line that are gonna feed your actual drip tape. Putting your holes in the same spot along this line ensures that this tubing is not gonna twist and all your lines are gonna stay straight, okay? So to create a hole in this main line tubing, you'll use this hole punch tool that's included in your kit. This yellow handle tool has a little hole punch at the end of it here, and you basically just stick it in the supply line like that. And you'll see you create a little hole there, okay? And you take your drip tape row start. 
the small end of this is going to plug into this mainline tubing and this larger end is going to uh, hold the drip tape which we'll see here in a minute so you just pop it in the hole there and then you're ready to put the drip tape on this end okay so here we have our actual drip tape our drip tape comes in a roll of 1640 feet okay our drip tape is an eight mil thickness which means it's good for two growing seasons or two growing cycles so it's good for a spring garden and then a subsequent fall garden okay so you you plant your spring crops use it on those and then use it again on your fall crops and you pull it up and replace it for the next growing season um, our drip tape has emitters on 12 inch spacing you'll see there's a emitter here at this hand and a emitter here at this hand so if you're planting transplants on one inch spacing you just plant a plant on top of every emitter if you're planting transplants on two foot spacing plant one on every other emitter if you're planting crops from seed like corn and stuff that may be on a lot closer spacing than say one foot you just plant in between the emitters and as the water comes out the emitters it will fill those gaps in between and adequately adequately water everything down the road so a question we get asked most often is how much drip tape can my water hose or my well or my water system how much drip tape can i support before my you know there's not enough flow to water all the plants adequately okay so the first thing you want to do to, to solve this question is you need to figure out your flow rate so what you want to do is you want to take a five gallon bucket and you want to time how long it takes to fill up that five gallon bucket okay from that you can calculate your flow rate easily because you know your gallons per minute that your water system is putting out okay this drip tape here at a five gallon per minute flow rate can support 1250 feet of tape okay so if your flow rate is five gallons per minute you can have 1250 feet of tape running in your system at any time okay if if you're less than that just basically use the simple ratio to calculate what your uh maximum amount of tape in the system could be if your flow rate's higher than than five gallons a minute you can support more tape so here at Hoss Tools, we recommend burying your drip tape. It, it allows you to get the water a lot closer to the roots. You don't lose as much water from evaporation by having it on top of the soil. And it does a lot for keeping the rodents, the rats and the mice from chewing in the tape and creating holes, which are your big headaches down the road. Okay, so after you've, you've buried your drip tape and you've, you've left plenty of slack at the end to work with, now you need to connect it to this main line tubing here and your drip tape row start. When you cut your drip tape, it's very important that you cut it straight, okay? If you don't cut it straight, then you won't get a good seal on this row start. So cut it straight, use a pair of scissors if you have to. They work really well for this, okay? You'll see you have this green nut here on the drip tape row start. Spin it all the way back, okay? And you just slide the drip tape over that barb. Make sure the emitters are facing upward, okay? And then you just tighten this nut down on the drip tape, okay? And as you'll see here, that's not going anywhere, okay? So at the end of each drip tape line, you're going to need to crimp this end as well, just like you did the main line tubing, but you use a slightly different tool to do this. These are our drip tape ends here, okay? And you'll notice with these, one end of them is a lot smaller than the other one's a little wider. So the way you do this, you insert the drip tape through the small end here, okay? And pull out, I don't know, probably five or six inches, maybe a little less, and just fold the drip tape over, nice smooth folds about three times, okay? And then you're gonna slide that back into this big end here, and then that's a secure, tight, crimp connection that's going to keep any water from leaking out the end of your drip tape lines. So what happens when you're out in your garden and you're hoeing weeds and you accidentally cut into your drip tape line? You get water, start spewing up, think you've got a mess. Well, it's pretty easy fix. We include these drip tape couplings in the system. So you've got your line here, you cut it, think you've got a disaster. Basically, you just need to take your scissors, like I mentioned earlier, and cut an even line here on both sides. And you're just going to take this drip tape coupling, just like you installed the drip tape row start, move the nut all the way backwards, slide it on there, tighten that nut down, 
and then you'll take your other end slide it on there tighten that nut down and you've got a secure connection there where you've repaired your drip tape line that you cut the last piece I want to talk about is this little tiny thing here and it's called a goof plug okay what this does is it can plug holes in your mainline tubing now why would you want to do that okay say for instance you have your mainline tubing ran along your garden for your, for your spring crops but you've taken your spring crops up, your tubing's still there. You don't want to waste it. You want to keep the same tubing there. But for your fall crops, you're going to have quite a different row spacing because you're planting rows a lot closer together, okay? So you've removed your line from your mainline tubing, and you just use this goof plug to plug that hole in your mainline tubing, okay? That way you can save this tubing. You don't have to throw it away and run a new stretch of tubing. And you can come right alongside it here and put another hole for a drip tape row start. So that's our complete irrigation kit from Hoss Tools. That includes 1,640 foot of drip irrigation tape. You've got 100 foot of main line tubing or, or supply line. And then you've got enough fittings for 20 rows. So that means if your water flow can support it, you can have up to 20 80 foot rows with this system. That's a lot of garden folks. Okay, so now you have everything you need to water your garden more efficiently, more effectively, reduce those pests, weeds, and diseases.